Emily Eminen was rushed to the emergency room where her heart stopped beating for 10 minutes. Tests revealed that she had a torn aorta and her doctor said it was a death sentence. When her family and friends heard the news, they went into full prayer mode. And the results were not one, not two, but three miracles. August 2006. Lorraine Potter drove her mother Emily to the emergency room. She was complaining a lot. The pain was strong. Um, she said, you know, I, it's a 10, it's a level 10 pain. It's, it's very strong. And she had never experienced that before, but she thought it was her heart. As hospital staff performed a cardiac catheterization test, Emily's heart quit beating. Doctors struggled to revive her. After 10 minutes, they found a pulse and she eventually stabilized. Soon after, a doctor told Lorraine the terrible news. He sat me down and said, um, it's, it's very serious. Your mom has a torn aorta. There is nothing that we can do for her. Um, as per policy, we are going to send her to Iowa City, to University of Iowa Hospitals. But we, um, we know uh, from experience there's really nothing they can do either. He said, really, this is a, it's a death sentence. Lorraine called family to join her and pray. Then, she spent a few minutes alone with her mom. I felt like that was the last time I was going to see her alive, so as, as much as I could, I spoke to her, um, told her I loved her, was able to, to, um, to stroke her hair, to kiss her, you know, that, and that was all I could do. The level of anxiety, the level of grief was very high. Um, at this point, there was no hope. You know, there was no, no hope I had been given. Emily was transported to the university hospital. When Lorraine arrived minutes later, she noticed a license plate that read YHWH, Yahweh, the intimate name of God. At that moment, Lorraine says she felt his presence. The peace that passes all understanding that guarded my heart and mind kicked in and came over me. And, uh, and from that moment on, my anxiety was gone. My hopes are eternal and my hopes are in Christ. And I knew where my mom was going, no matter what. And I knew the Lord was with me, no matter what. Doctors ran a new catheterization test to confirm the first diagnosis. Then they told Lorraine their findings. He said, um, Emily came in with a, with a torn aorta. And so as per our uh, policy, we re-examine, you know, the, the diagnosis that, that, is, that they come in with. Um, we've done all the tests that we could, um, and, uh, and there is no torn aorta. What was clearly visible just hours ago was now healed. You know, anything that came out, it was all God, you know. The new tests, however, did reveal a 90% blockage in an artery near her heart. When they went in to place a stint, the blockage also disappeared. Really, there was nothing doctors could do. Um, God was doing a healing. You know, they hadn't been able to touch her. Uh, they hadn't been able to perform anything. Nothing man did um, was healing her. This was all God. Um, he uh, healed the torn aorta. Um, he removed the blockage. Doctors were still worried about another issue. The doctor explained to me at that point that they were not sure of her brain function, uh, that it was, a, it was a concern to them because she had been gone for 10 minutes, 10 full minutes. Um, they didn't know what her brain function would be like when she came out. The next morning, Emily woke up and tried to communicate. My mom was uh, lying on her bed, fully intubated, trying to use sign language. We can't understand her. Finally, she gets, she's frustrated enough, so they get her a, a clipboard and a marker, and she writes down, no anterograde or retrograde amnesia. So I said, okay, well, I think her brain function's there. I think she's back. Miraculously, she had no signs of brain damage either. Emily and Lorraine say the presence of God sustained them through the entire experience. You know, I know I was touched by God. And I, I think when he touches you, can't even explain it. It would have been fine with me if I had gone that night, but I didn't. And the Lord had something else in store. And I felt fabulous. It, it, was, it was an experience that I will never forget because of the way I felt when I woke up. I just felt like I wanted to stand up and dance and scream and, and sing and whatever, you know. It just felt so good. Today, Emily's heart is healthy. Though questions remain regarding what exactly happened, Lorraine knows it was God with them that made all the difference.
The Lord really healed me three times. If you can have three miracles in one miracle, I really did. No torn aorta, no blockage, no brain damage. The joy of having her back was wonderful, but greater was the peace of having him with us. Why he did this for me, I don't know. I loved him before, I love him now. It's not for me to question why, other than if I can glorify him, that's the most important thing. He is a merciful God and he does miracles today, not just in biblical times. And he does major miracles today. Wow, what an amazing story. What an amazing experience with God. I know that there are lots of you watching who are saying, I need a miracle in my life. And so we want to pray for you right now. We want to encourage your faith as we go into that. Gordon, let me share this with you. This was last March. Sandra from Saparia, Trinidad had itching in her right ear. ear she had a discharge draining had lost her hearing in that ear. The doctor prescribed medication, but nothing worked. On the 25th of July, she was watching this program and she heard you give this word of knowledge. Someone with problems in your right ear, recurring deep infections, discharges out of that ear. God is able to heal it and make it so it never comes back again. You're restored now in Jesus' name. Sandra thought, that's me. She claimed the word the next morning, the drainage should stop. She could hear clearly in her right ear and ear and no problem since then. All right, well, here's Dan from California. He had a sudden hit of intense pain in his back and trouble getting in and out of bed each day. He was diagnosed with arthritis, two other diseases. He was given some medicine for pain, but nothing helped. One day, watching the 700 Club, Terry said, you have an issue with your back. It's really immobilized you in many ways. You can't lean forward, you can't lean back. Just put your hand behind your back, lift your other hand up in the air and say, yes, God, I receive this. It's for you today. Well, the next morning, Dan felt no pain in his back and has not had any pain since that day. Miracles happen today. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did 2,000 years ago, he's still doing today. And the Bible is very clear. He went around doing good, healing all those who were oppressed by the devil. Go read it. It's in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. He went around doing good. Now, think about your own life. Wouldn't it be great if Jesus went around doing good? When we can say all things work together for good, now, all things, that includes anything that's afflicting you right now. So just as Terry said uh, to that man, Dan in California, put your hand on that area of the body that needs healing. Lift your other hand up to him and realize the kingdom of God is at hand. It's right there with you. All you have to do is ask for it. When you ask, believing, you receive. So we're going to pray, and we're going to agree with you, and we're going to let God do all the rest. What he's promised to do, he will do for you. Let's pray. Lord, we just lift the needs of the audience, and as people are laying hands on that area of the body that needs healing, and raising the other hand up to you, we just come into agreement with them now, and we ask that the kingdom of God would come, that your will would be done in their bodies and in their lives today. And Lord, when we look to your kingdom, when we look to heaven, there's no one sick, there's no one dismayed, there's no one lonely, there's no one in poverty. You supply every human need. So Lord, answer their prayers now. Bring healing to them now. Reach down and touch and let your will be done now in Jesus' name. There's someone you've been in a car accident and uh, I don't know how it happened in, in your back and your, and your right shoulder, uh, but just tremendous pain from fractures, dislocations, and God is able to heal that right now. In Jesus' name, that pain just left you and begin to do what you couldn't do before. Raise your right arm and realize 
God has done a tremendous miracle for you. It's going to be stiff right now, but just continue to move it and realize everything is free. The pain is gone now in Jesus' name. A spinal stenosis being healed in Jesus' name. And someone else, you've had a, mm -hmm. it's just come upon you like a mental fogginess and you're so fearful that it's, that it's something permanent. It's, God is healing that for you right now. It's just going to, a clarity is going to come to you. Your thought is pattern is returning. Uh, your ability to communicate, just receive that. Uh, there's someone you're in a hospital right now and you have an infection in your spinal fluid and God is able. He's able to allow you to walk out of that hospital with newness of life, mm. newness of energy. He's taking that affection all the way now in Jesus' name. Someone else with a hip alignment, that's just straightening out and you'll not need surgery. Lord, we thank you. You're the healer, you're the restorer, you're the deliverer, you're our savior, you're our all in all. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you've been touched by God, we want to share in your good report. We want to tell people of all the miracles he's doing today. And if you want to call us, all you have to do is pick up the phone. Number's toll free, 1-800-759-0700. And if you need prayer, we're here for you. It's our honor, our privilege to pray with you. We believe in prevailing prayer, the prayer that gets an answer. So if you want us to pray with you, just give us a call.